What's up guys, Epoxy here, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. And in today's video, I wanted to try something different for y'all. I'm deciding to open all of my Crucible Engrams from Lord Shax, and hoping to get at least one good weapon from all of it. And who knows, maybe I'll get more than one, we'll see. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so let's head over to Lord Shax right now. I'm gonna show you guys. You look here, I have 80 Crucible Engrams. I don't know how long this is built up. I usually only play Trials and Comp, so I mean, this is pretty... It's been built up for a while now. <laughs> I've also been max rank for a while now. I just always forget to collect my rewards. But yeah, I cleared up my inventory as much as possible. I came on a character I don't use that often, which is the Titan. So yeah, let's get straight into the opening. I'm probably going to open about 20 at a time. I'm going to speed through it, and then I'm going to go over the best things I got from it. And yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so let's get started. After going through the first 20 engrams, the best things I got were the Keening sidearm with slide shot, Zen moment, ricochet, and small bore. And we also got a Sorrows Verse auto rifle, more of a PVE role, but we got Frenzy, Feeding Frenzy, you know, some okay barrels. Honestly, it's okay. So I'm just gonna throw in the vault and then we'll move on to the next 20. All right, let's go. All right, this time around is looking more promising. Let's head over to the Postmaster and give it all a look. And I'll be back once I cleared out all the bad stuff. Okay, I just finished going through all 20 of the engrams. All right, let's go over the best rolls I found in here. So as you see here, we got a Riptide with well-rounded Harmony, Accelerated Coils or Liquid Coils, Hammer Forge Rifling, Arrowhead Break, the Range Master Work. Honestly, not a terrible fusion. Uh, Riptide's always good. I, I usually try to get a chill clip Riptide, but this isn't terrible. I'll definitely throw in the vault. Might use it in the future. Probably won't. Bruh. We're excited about these. For the energy slots, I got two Keenings that are honestly pretty good. Uh, the first one, we have Rapid Hit with Snapshot Sights, High Caliber Round, Corkscrew, or Polygonal with the Reload Speed Master Work. This is honestly a pretty good roll for PvP. I'd probably rate it around A. A tier, it's pretty good. Like, honestly, I'm definitely going to use this. And then moving on to the other king I got was a Substance Multi Kill Clip with a full bore and, you know, just some basic magazines, the range master work. This is definitely more of a PvE one, but definitely still pretty good. You know, with Substance and Multi Kill Clip together, it could be a pretty good PvE roll. So I'm definitely going to throw both of those in the vault and I'll probably use those in the future. And then moving on to, we'll do the out of bounds. So machine gun, we got, we got dynamic sway with golden tricorn, reload speed master work, small bore, extended barrel, and some okay mags. This honestly is a pretty okay roll. Dynamic sway and golden tricorn work pretty good together. Reload speed master works always pretty good for some submachine guns. But overall, this is honestly a pretty decent one. I'm definitely gonna throw in the vault also. And then lastly, we have stars in the shadow. You know, the perks are okay. We have underdog which this weapon gains a boost to reload speed as your health gets lower, it's what's whatever. We have Dragonfly, Accurized, Arrowhead Break. This is honestly a pretty good PvE roll again. I would probably use this with a range master work, of course, it's always good. So yeah, this is a pretty okay roll for PvE. So yeah, I'll throw that in the vault also for later use. Let's get into the other 20 engrams. Alrighty, only 40 more to go. Let's get it done. All right, that's another 20. Let's go in the Postmaster and give them all a look. And then once I figure out which ones are the best, I will let you guys know. All right, this is definitely the best haul so far. We have a decent amount of weapons. And I'll see some pretty good ones. Let's head over to the vault again. Let's take a look at these. So you see here, we got the Autumn Wind with Perpetual, Moving Target, some okay barrels, but we got Arrowhead Break, Range Master Work. Overall, this can be a very good pulse rifle for PvE situations. Moving Target and Perpetual always go great together. And then we have, we got two Sorrows Versus. We got one with Dynamic Sway, Frenzy, Steady Rounds, and Polygonal with the Stability Master Work. Overall, this is gonna be a very good auto rifle for even PvE and PvP situations. So this is also a very good one. Also gonna put the that in the vault. And then we have one that got Tablet Trigger, Elemental Capacitor, with Extended Barrel, Polygonal Barrel, and some OK Mags, Reload Speed Master Work. Not terrible. I would definitely just want more in PvE. Maybe even PvP. It could still be good. Depending on which subclass you use for elemental capacitor. But overall, not a terrible auto rifle. Let's throw that in the vault also. And moving on to the stars and the shadow pulse rifles. Got a decent one with surplus, eye of the storm, accurized, looted barrel, and hammer forge with the, with the handling masterwork. Handling masterwork is probably the worst part about it. But eye of the storm, surplus, accurized, fluted barrel, or hammer forge are all very great perks that like you see here. This thing can get up to 82 range and has decent stability. 
And you can also up the handling. It did give you some more handling if you really wanted to. But overall, this is a very great pulse rifle. I'm definitely going to stick that in the vault and use it later. And the other one we got was decent for PvE, I would say. We got Threat Detector, Vorpal, Accurize, Arrowhead Break, Small Bore. Actually, I take that back. This could definitely be used for PvE too. A lot of range, a lot of stability. Reload Speed Master Work, not that great. But not, not bad for sure. Definitely also going to throw that in the vault. And I think the best thing I got so far when it comes to the Crisis Inverted is Outlaw Opening Shot with Ricochet Rounds and Small Bore. The Handling Master Work, sadly. But 52 range, not bad for the Crisis Inverted. Outlaw and Opening Shot. Always that work good together. I would definitely give this a try in PvP. So I'm definitely gonna throw this in the vault. Overall, not a bad haul for the second to last Angram haul. So yeah, let's go into the last one. Alright, we got our last 20. Let's get it done. Alright, we got no more. Alright, let's head to the postmaster and see if these last 20 are gonna be decent or not. I'm not sure. It looks like a lot of weapons, but I don't know. We'll see how it turns out for sure. I mean I'll be back once I go through them all. All right, we have stored out the last weapons of the hall. Let's head over to the vault and go over the last few weapons. At second look first, we have the Survivor's Epitaph. We got Outlaw, Moving Target, Armor Piercing Round, Small Bore with the Range Masterwork. This is the best one I've gotten so far. It's not the best. I don't know if I'll use it right now, but maybe in the future. So I'm going to throw that in the vault. And then we got Autumn Wind with Killing Wind, Rampage, Ricochet Rounds or Armor Piercing, Arrowhead Breaker Polygonal with the Range Masterwork. Not terrible. I would definitely probably use this more in PvE. It might be good in PvP too, but Rampage, I don't know how I feel about that in PvP. Throw that in the vault. And then, once again, we have some more good Keening sidearms. We have one with Killing Winds, High Impact Rounds, High Caliber, Corkscrew, or Small Bore. Probably do Small Bore. The Reload Speed Master Work. Overall, another great PvP Keening. Throwing that in the vault. And then... The last one we got was moving target with zen moment moving target high caliber or ricochet rounds looted barrel full bore looted barrel for sure gonna use that stability masterwork overall another great keening i've been getting so many of those throughout this video and then we finally got a decent power we got the blowout rocket launcher with cluster bomb tracking module black powder impact casing confined launch and quick launch Overall, not a terrible rocket launcher. We got Velocity. I looked it up. It's a decent rating. It's like B to A tier, so it's not that bad. I don't know too much about rocket launchers, but I'll possibly use this in the future for something, probably. Let's throw the vault. And that brings us to the end of my engram opening video. I opened over 80 Crucible engrams from Shax. I didn't focus any of them, and I probably got maybe 3 to 5 good weapons out of it that I would honestly probably use. The other, maybe another 5 to 10 that are okay. And the rest were just absolute garbage. So yeah, honestly, if you're going to use your engrams at checks, I would probably just focus them on the weapons you might want. Just opening them randomly isn't that great, but I thought it'd be a fun little video to open them and just go through the best weapons I got. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, leave a comment below saying what you like best about the video. And if you haven't already, of course, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. And until next time, peace.